was a standard way of privatizing something. Like when Margaret Thatcher wanted to privatize the British railroads, the technique was defund them. And then when they don't work, people get angry. They say, let's do something. So you hand it over to private enterprise, which totally ruins them. And then the state has to come back in, big cost, and try to reconstruct it somehow. It's known as privatization. The, uh, uh, the, and that, that's exactly what's happening with Social Security. It's in good shape now when you read in the newspapers, as you do, that the big problem of the deficit is entitlements, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. Uh, Social Security is, is, is a zero problem. Uh, for one thing, it doesn't add anything to the deficit because people pay for it. Uh, and for another thing, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, certainly, well, very, uh, the last of the famous baby boomers will be gone before there's any problem in it. That's why there's a big payroll tax increase uh, 30 years ago to ensure that. Uh, but if it's defunded, it'll be a problem. Uh, then there'll be pressure to privatize it. That's a huge bonanza for the financial institutions. It'll put trillions of dollars into their hands, uh, which they can then use to make a ton of money with risky investments, uh, which are therefore very profitable. And when it tanks, uh, as it will, when the economy tanks, you just there's a technique. You pick up your copies of Milton Friedman and Hayek and Ayn Rand, and you run to the nanny state that you've nurtured, and you make sure that they bail you out. Uh, that's really existing capitalism. Uh, and it means that the scam can go on. Like, take privatizing schools. Uh, what's the point of privatizing schools? Uh, well, you know, the idea is to instill in people the idea that all you care about is yourself. So I don't happen to have children of school age. So therefore, according to the ideology that's implanted in you, you're, I'm not supposed to care whether the kid down the street has school to go to. So I don't want to pay taxes. You know, I want to cut taxes because I don't care if that kid goes to school. Uh, and if, uh, you know, since I have enough money, I could send my kid to private school if I wanted to. So who cares if they're public schools? Uh, so we should privatize schools to eliminate the conception that we should care if some other kid goes to school, which everybody has. So you've got to drive it out of their heads. Now, the same is true, I don't know if it's happening here, of efforts to privatize pension and security systems. Now, what's the point of that? Like in the US, these big effort to try to privatize Social Security. I mean, you know, financially speaking, it's ridiculous. It's a huge cost and everything else. But there are reasons for it. Uh, Social Security is based on an unacceptable principle, namely that each person that you should care if the disabled widow across town survives. And you're not supposed to care about that. You're supposed to care about whether you have enough uh, pairs of shoes and stuff like that, and, you know, too enough cars and video games or whatever it is. That's all you're supposed to care about. So you've got to privatize Social Security. Uh, also, another advantage to privatizing Social Security is that uh, it has the brilliant consequence of turning working people against their own interests. Uh, because if your pension is tied up in stocks, you want to make sure those stocks go up. And the way those stocks go up is by cutting wages and reducing working conditions and you know, sending jobs to you know, Chinese sweatshops and so on. So as a working person, you, should, you have to be committed to undermining your own interests. And that's important. So for reasons like that, you want to privatize Social Security and privatize water and schools and everything else. By definition, privatization undercuts democracy, takes something out of the public arena and puts it into the hands of unaccountable private tyrannies that are created and supported by the state, which is what corporations are. Remember, all this privatization you hear about, it's supposed to be very efficient. And by some measure, you know, by some ludicrous measure, it probably is efficient. You know, and the part of the reason why it's efficient is you don't count the costs, okay? So like if you suppose so they're talking about privatizing the MTA around, you know, the public transportation thing. All right. Suppose you privatize the system. Uh, you and I know how to make it more efficient by the economist measures. You throw out union workers, and you get temps for half the price. And if there's an accident because they never had any training, well, it's just people who are getting killed. You don't measure that. 
uh, and you cut off the so-called unprofitable bus routes, okay, or subway routes, like you don't make a lot of money at 11 p.m., okay, so let's throw them out. Well, suppose somebody's stuck somewhere at 11 p.m. and wants to get home. Oh, well, you know, it's entrepreneurial values, you know, let them uh, hire a limousine or something, you know. Uh, and uh, in ways like that, you can make the system more efficient simply by transferring the costs over to the public where you don't measure the costs, okay? So, you know, it looks nice and efficient on some, some you know, some economist's uh, paper, but of course you just, there's huge costs transferred over to the public which you don't measure.